And the reason we're asking all this is about uh, collecting football stickers. The SPFL sticker collection is out now by Tops. And it's the first time in nearly 40 years that every Scottish League football club has featured. Join us to talk about uh, collecting stickers as comedian Gordon Dallas. Gordon! Everyone, Fred. Everyone's in here. It's been a long time. <laughs> I've been waiting. 40 years, a long time to wait. Uh, it's, but I can yeah. remember, I mean, when my boys were younger, there was a, an SPL one, uh, oh, which yes. is just however many teams were there. And, uh, you know, we used to buy the stickers for them. Basically, it was for me. I quite like filming quite like, the, quite yeah. the stickers. They, yeah. were like, they were like the bitcoins of their generation. They were. <laughs> they, had, they had a currency, didn't they? Uh-huh. In the playgrounds. You thought they did, but it turns out they didn't. Try there. There's uh, James McPeak. He he's number seventy four. I assume he's Hibernian. playing for Hibernian. Uh, so try try and peel that one off, Gordon, and right. stick it in. Is this a live? This is a live demonstration of it. Uh-huh. See, Gordon's Gordon's got decent nails, and he doesn't bite his nails. That's right. And if but was, even you, if I was eight year old, this would be off and on that sticker album within <laughs> yeah. a, a couple of seconds. No, no, James wrote. McPeak uh-huh. is now. Uh, well done for kids, getting it off. It's actually a real thing, this. It's a paper. Uh-huh. It's uh-huh. not a virtual James McPake. And I'm at the Hibernian page. It's had, as you would expect from the old sticker albums of the past, there's nothing particularly new there. They've got a big photograph of the uh, club captain Cap- up there. Yep. And it is very similar. They have got the flags representing the nationality. All right. Which is, I think, reasonably... They wouldn't have needed to do that in 40 years ago. Everybody would have been a jock. They're all, all Scottish. And there's James McPeak, bottom left. Well done, oh, James, for getting he's in up there. there. Right. So it's, uh, yeah, let's... Well, Susan, you need to steer us back onto what we're talking about here because I'm feeling <laughs> them here. Where have you got there you are. I've got Patrick Gregg. Uh, yeah, he's at St. Johnson, so we'll, we'll put him in. Did you did you do this as a, oh, absolutely. As a child? Yeah? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it, like, so many lessons were learned in the playgrounds about, in- say, swapping supply and demand. Uh-huh. And I was just thinking, coming in there, Fred, what you couldn't do is let anybody know you really wanted a player. Because then, of course, they'd say, well, give me three of your cards. Of course. Yes. Or four of your cards. Of yeah. course. You know, so it was a very good lesson in having the poker face. I'm not bothered about that. But you as concerned as I am about getting them on the lines. <laughs> Clearly I'll, not. No. But Pink's... <laughs> Away. He's not. He's a bit, he's, you've ruined the whole thing. I know. Bit squinty. He's in squint. And, and, and therein lies the Berlin season, I'm afraid. You know, oh. if you saw their defensive frailties yesterday, <laughs> that was roughly the same line of their Do you remember the coins one? We're talking about, you were mentioning bitcoins, but there used to be, you, you got little you? coins. Esso used to. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's right. I, I, I was just speaking about the old Green Shield stamps on the way in, but they used uh-huh. to get, uh, I think there's a choice. You could have the coins or crystal. I, I may be wrong in that one. I thought you had a. Had a choice there. Uh, interesting enough, just for MD uh, studies Scottish football, I just had a wee look at the Hearts page. Yes. And I think what they've done, they've just cut to the chase and asked the school photographer <laughs> just to give them their <laughs> photographs to see if <laughs> tops having to go and f- <laughs> superimpose the strip team. over their school uniform, is it? <laughs> I just checked that out. So that is actually, yeah. a, 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 it's true. All yeah. right, here's the $64,000 question. Have you still got the old albums? I believe they're in the attic somewhere. Very much really? like these horror films you got and there's a real film then you've, you know, uh-huh. I think in my mother and father's house, I think it would be the same for a lot of people from my generation. It's in a box somewhere. Uh-huh. White, I, I seem to, I, I remember it vividly, a white shiny cover with the SPL and the big football and some sort of design around it. And it is similar to what there is here. So I think it's not the changed. memories will flood back. But I mean, if you've got your own team that you support, were they the team that you wanted to get all the stickers for first uh, and foremost? Yes, absolutely. And then... If there was a, a a great rivalry between your team and another Glasgow team, for example, yes. might you not have bothered filling them in at all? You might not have bothered, but you certainly want to stockpile them just uh-huh. to annoy the people that were supporters of that team, as I, as I mentioned it to earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and you do not want to give any sucker to a, a, a supporter of your rivals. Look, here's, you will... <laughs> here's the wee packet that they come in. Does that not just make the memories flood back? It does, actually. Yeah. And they, yes, very, very thin. In fact, I think the technology now, they've actually managed to compress them even thinner than I remember. Uh-huh. It's amazing. How many is in a pack? Now, are we going down the lower leagues here? Um, can I open them up? You can. I'm opening up now. Because in the lower leagues, you only get a photo that's half the size of the Aww. Premier League. But they're actually easier to peel because they're split <laughs> down the middle. Ah. See? Now, so here's... Yeah. Talk about bringing back memories. I've just got the... I'll, I'll hold it up, Fred. Uh-huh. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Half the team. Half the team. 
Oh, yes. of course. So you had to get how OC. frustrating oh. you got to now, and that's if you had half the team. That's you. You now got to go and speak to Father mm-hmm. Fred here to, to of get more stickers. Oh, shiny! Oh, they're they're <laughs> shiny. Yeah, now you got shiny for the club. Let's get paradise as well, but Dan as Yankee. well as that, shiny for was that the star player? Oh, yes, yes. Right, Gordon. Why do you think they're still making these when there's probably some alternative Money. that I know, <laughs> but there's probably some alternative that you could have, say, on a kind of some sort of iPad or whatever that oh, children oh, yeah. could trade. So why is there still this the need for or the demand for a paper like a physical well, pack I'd, of stickers and sticker album for football? There's a longer answer there, but I did in my research. I have actually, I do research this. Mm-hmm. I did actually go into my news agents yesterday. Uh-huh. And there is a, a thriving market in stickers. So the actual art of sticker collection, oh, I, I don't think it's going away. Right. I think the football is maybe underground in Scotland, but the Hello Kitty sticker album, oh, right. which my daughter quite likes, uh-huh. uh, it's going quite well. As in, are these beefcake wrestlers? They're there. Seriously? WWE or F or uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have no idea, Z. And so there's wrestling stickers and there's um, these fr- franchises from the computer games. Uh-huh. Right. Skylanders have got a sticker. Mm-hmm. So the st- I don't think the stickers have gone away really. It's just the, the, the appetite for kids to have actually something physical. What we should do is go nice. on to a, an online trading site and find out if they are worth anything. I did. But, but they're good fun to do. Very quickly last um, night, yes. I researched onto eBay. You're the man. And I, and I, and I, I searched <laughs> eBay for a completed album yes. which is quite a rare thing it says mega rare and this is a true <laughs> uh-huh. on eBay mega 1995 SPL album do you want to have a, a guess how much 1995 SPL album um, £20 £20 12 quid 12 quid £6.95 plus free delivery oh no oh. that's oh. a sad statement of the game oh, no. <laughs> that's <laughs> a shocker that is a true story and I wonder how much it would have cost to put together I know an awful lot